my channel. Today we are doing a get ready with me and a slash story time. My face has been breaking out. This is my face with no makeup. It's a bit ugly. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup that I usually do with this hair now that um, I have it. Look at me vigorously shaking because there's nothing in it. Anyways, I'm using MAC um, strobe cream. It's so good. Guys, just mind, just mind, um, I'm a bit low on my makeup. I'll be doing a natural glam with lashes. Yeah, but let's just, let's just chat. So... My foot is so messed. Oh my goodness. Oh mate, this is meant to last me a month. Anyways, but my foot situation. So my foot isn't broken. It's not sprained, I don't think. Saturday, I didn't do anything all day. I was just having a really like lazy Saturday. I'm gonna go out to dinner with my shishter. That's basically what happened. I went out to dinner, literally, drove halfway around the world just to go to hungry jacks <laughs> it was good and the next day i woke up and i couldn't even walk i couldn't even step on it properly so yeah i went to work i was soldiering through that pain everything was all good oh my goodness holy moly my foot is messed up like i couldn't walk from then i couldn't walk i could not walk all day i couldn't walk and my foot was throbbing. So I'm gonna be putting this, my eyelids, for a natural shadow. So yeah, long story short, my foot is messed up. I have a really exciting shoot, actually. I can't say much on it, it's a big deal for me. The shoot's actually tomorrow, that's why I'm stressing, because my foot is destroyed. One day when my foot was absolutely wrecked, I got news about a photo shoot that I'm doing on Thursday. So ever since then, I was like, oh, I need to keep my foot up. I need to ice it. I can't walk on it at all, hence the crutches. And I'm so excited. We cannot miss out on this opportunity. So I'll put all the products I'm using in the description so you guys can see. Oh my gosh, made at first sight. I liked that season that they did a reunion on. <laughs> and so much drama. Love to be on Gogglebox. Googlebox. You know that show. If you don't know, it's the show where like you watch people watching TV. I would love for people to watch me watching TV. I'm running low on powder. Why am I shaking? Am I nervous? I don't know about anyone else, but like I get goosebumps when I'm nervous. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Why? I would love to be on a reality TV show. I wouldn't go on something like married at first sight. It's scary. How could you do that? Like I could never. I would go on it for clout. Never. Majority of people go on reality TV for clout. Let's be real. Ah, oh, jeez, Luigi. I'm literally talking about a lot of random shit. I have an interesting story. Once upon a time, I got slapped. It wasn't bad, like I got him back. My first job was being a scare actor. <laughs> Me and Jaffrey, my best friend, we both worked at the Easter show together. It was our first job and we were so excited. I think I was 15. Basically right here, this photo or video that I'm gonna put here, that was me, a scare actor. I'm sure everyone knows what haunted house it is because it's like there all the freaking time. And I was scaring people. So they gave me the job of being every single character. I was like rotating in different rooms. I got to be every character except for the chainsaw guy because I'm small. I didn't realize how hard the job was actually gonna be. Like I was fully sweating. I was wearing like this silicone mask up to my chest. They don't know it's a girl under the mask, but it doesn't matter. I got hit three times and they were all guys. The first person that hit me, I really wanted to scare the shit out of people. So this guy, this boy, he was walking with his girlfriend. He thought he was a mad guy. He was holding like bags. I scared them, he swung the one of the Easter show bags and it like like swung and hit me across the head. I got mad, like I took off my mask and I was like, do it again, do it again. You wanna hit me again? Like I'm a girl, do you wanna hit me again? And, and he didn't say anything, like he got scared. And, like I kept showing him, I was like, do you wanna do it again? Oh my God, I sound so aggressive telling this story. I told the security in the back and they went to find him and they kicked him out of the park. Second time I got hit by like an eight year old boy. <laughs> I fully jumped out to scare them, but I jumped out, I scared him. He screamed and he hit me. 
I didn't take my mask off. I just chased him. He was like so shit scared. I know that you're scared, but you don't need to put your hands on people. You don't need to like hit someone it's stupid. Last time I got hit, this was this was a bad one. He thought he was a mad guy. I was coming from my break. And because I already got hit two times, security started to like escort me to my spot. <sighs> I get so mad telling this story. By the way, this is my lip combo. Great, there's no writing on it. Someone knows the color, like I don't remember what it is. But I also mix it with chestnut so good back to the story so i was wearing a clown uniform i was walking through and i can hear just a bunch like a group coming i had a bad feeling already coming from the side i see three girls and some three dudes the guy at the front when he sees me he's like look at this one and he does this fuming straight away when that happened the security like grabbed him and he like like shoved him against the wall. So mad, I was like seeing red. I was so angry. I punched him straight in the neck. That's what I remember. I punched him in the neck like, <laughs> I sound so aggressive. <laughs> and I felt really good because like he deserved that. So I took my mask off. I was like, do you want to hit a girl again? Like that he was like shocked. He got me good. And then the freaking owner of the haunted house pulls me out. He's like, can you come out? Whatever. I come out and he's like, did you put your hands on someone? I wanted to say yes. I was going to be like, yeah, he punched. He, no, he didn't punch me. He slapped me. But I didn't because I knew that I was going to get in trouble. They already explained that dumb, stupid rule to us. Like, so someone could hit you, but you couldn't do anything to them because then they would get in trouble. Like, that's so dumb. Like, I don't give a crap. Like, I freaking hit this guy because he deserved it. Then he was like, well, we have a guy at the front. The stupid freaking... I don't even remember his face. Oh, So he said that this Gronk was at the front and that you punched him. I was like, what the hell? No, I didn't touch anyone. I knew that if I said yes, I was going to lose my job. I was, <laughs> was going to lose my job. I'm gonna put that audio in. We're gonna look at the security cameras and I was like, go. In reality, all right, if they see that, like, I'm gonna get in trouble and I'm gonna get fired. Apparently, like, they looked at the footage and where it happened, where I hit the guy. So they had on video when he freaking slapped me, but because the security shoved him on the wall, it was like away from like the camera view. So like, they didn't see when I punched him which is good and lucky. On the last night of the Easter show, we had tickets go like half price and everybody wants to come in. Everybody in freaking Sydney comes in because it's so cheap, the tickets. I was so scared. So many little shits coming in and like they were going in to like hit people. Like that's why I was scared. They don't know who's under these costumes, like I said, and they're gonna hit me. Me and this girl, we were freaking holding the doors closed. We weren't scaring anyone. And he just said to us, when these ones come in, like don't even come out. Cause like they know that you're gonna get hit. We were shit scared. These boys were coming in just to hit people. And they were trying to push it open, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like my face is almost finished. Whatever's on this brush, I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. If somebody knows a good glue for eyelashes, please let me know. I need one. Some lip gloss. Oh, this lip gloss, it's from Revlon. Okay. Face is done. I'm gonna do a hairstyle to end this video. Oh, God damn it. Is this even a look? Oh. <laughs> Turned out pretty good. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me with my story time. And yes. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and share. And yeah, we'll be back real soon. Bye.